Homelessness is a complicated and controversial topic for many cities across the state to tackle, but after recent and critical comments from Governor Gavin Newsom, local advocates and elected officials say different things need to be addressed when tackling the crisis. Governor Gavin Newsom is making headlines for recent critical comments about the state's homelessness conservative ship reform. The governor voicing frustration with some counties, including San Diego County, for not moving forward with the reform when it goes into effect in January. I don't understand where he's coming from. Some advocates tell me when hearing about the governor's comments. I'm not surprised at it. It's deflection from what the real problem is. The reform comes from Senate Bill 43. It redefines those who qualify under conservatorship to include people who are unable to provide basic care for themselves, like food and shelter, due to severe mental health illnesses or disorders. The aim is to help break the cycle of different crises, including homelessness. One advocate in San Diego County feels the county is handling SB 43 correctly. And the one big thing about this SB 43 is the fact that now alcoholism and addiction could be a 5150 cause. So eff effectively, you could be burdening our hospitals and ERs with a tremendous number of additional patients, and we don't have the resources to resolve that right now. But earlier this month, the county voted to implement SB 43 by January 2025. Chairwoman Nora Vargas says she's proud that the county will do it right and do it well. But San Diego Mayor Todd Gloria, who championed SB 43, called the delay disappointing, adding, quote, I'm hopeful that the progress report included in the proposal that was passed will hold county staff accountable to implement this desperately needed program to get severely ill people the care they need no later than January 1st, 2025. End quote. Another advocate tells me they sympathize with the governor's frustration, but when it comes to what some may need who have died on the streets. They didn't need a conservatorship. What they needed was housing that they could afford. What some of them may have needed was care going along with the housing. Ryan Hill, ABC 10 News.